Whether you guys are aware of it or not, we've been involved in a spiritual war for quite some time. And as my guy Sam Tripoli says, they're trying to jack our luge, also known as our spiritual energy. Watch this video to find out how to reconnect with that spiritual energy, reconnect with your soul, and find inner peace once again. Check out the video now. What's going on YouTube family? Jared Bryce back here with another video on the Jared and James channel. And if you guys didn't know that, must mean that you're not subscribed to the channel, so you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button right now. Like the video at the end. And be sure to support us however you can. We really appreciate it. So, for today's video, we're going to be talking about more of one of the intangible topics, but yet a super important one when it comes to healing, when it comes to, when it comes to finding inner peace in anything that you do. And so, I've definitely addressed like parts of this topic in other videos, but like I really haven't done like any deep dives into like spirituality. So, quick intro. I've always been trying to into, like tap into my spiritual energy, but like these past few years, I've really started started to get into like these like deep meditations, and I've been like I'm, I'm trying to explore my full realm of consciousness. I've been trying. I'm like super like religious or anything like that, but like I have become very spiritual and I realized how how important this is like with the whole like holistic health process and like when it comes to like healing because you understand that like part of healing, a huge part of healing, is actually being able to get in touch with the intangibles. Like I'm not so, so, it's not always about like, like the physical stuff, but it's like your belief that healing is possible like, and like your belief that like you could achieve any goal is just as important as like the physical tasks or um, whatever like nourishment like, is when it comes down to it. So also the other day like, I was actually watching a very interesting and we're back. So the other day I was actually listening to a really great podcast. It was on Alex Zach's The Way Forward podcast. And like he, Jason Shurka, Aaron Abke, and Brandon Borath, I think his name was, we're all talking about like the, this concept of God consciousness. And so like each of them gave like their own perspective on where they believe God consciousness is, like as well as like have like access to this like supreme level of like awareness that like God is essentially in everything and like the power of the universe. Think of the power that's in the universe, moving the earth growing the trees and that's the same power within you and how we are all connected with everything so like anyways coming back to like what i was saying at the start of the video there's been like a spiritual war that's been going on for these past like few years i believe and so i believe like all this division that's been created in every topic the news media always trying to scare us always trying to to get us to believe that like the world is coming to an end unless we give our power up to these people or when it comes to when it comes to like us knowing what's happening in this country or that country and like being fed all these manufactured crises I believe is all part of this way that's trying to get us to give up our spiritual energy and like essentially to, to drain us of our own power as I mentioned in past videos so we're going to talk about like a little bit like about how to like take it back as well as like what spirituality means to me and like this whole like spiritual energy and how to like have more of it. So keep in mind I also um, took some notes before this video like because like I really wanted to make sure I gave a very broad analysis of like what like these beliefs mean to me. So Alec in that podcast had some really great lines so like I want to share some of these with you. So like one was, we are all individuated portions of consciousness exploring ourselves through free will. So, free will is essentially what our own choices can help us achieve. So like for instance, like I believe God or the universe is always giving us the opportunities that we need in order to become the best versions of ourselves, but like, then it's up to our own free will to ultimately make the right decisions and the right choices 
with these opportunities to ultimately reach reach our highest levels and, and like to achieve our goals. Also, I believe that like you can find spirituality and, and you can find stillness and like and this like awareness of who we are in, in many different ways. Like for instance, for some people, sitting down in meditation is by far the best way to like get in touch with the stillness and, and like to get in touch like with like your spiritual energy. For other people it could even just be like walking and like getting in touch like with your breath like it could even be like counting your breath, acknowledging the, the movement of your breath into and out of your passages. And for other people it could even just be like trying to find stillness and trying to get back to your center through through like essentially everything that you do like I mean, it could be um, through reading I mean, it could be through playing a sport it could be through weightlifting ultimately however you go about trying to bring the awareness back into the movement of your breath as well as like as well as like the, the connections of everything in the universe like because like I ultimately believe that like everything is connected and like also these people have, have constantly tried to like divide us on every single issue when truthfully we are all one we all come from the same creator we all obviously utilize our own free will in different ways but like at the root of things none of us are separate we're all one we're all connected we're all connected with nature which is why i believe so strongly in the powers of holistic health as well as healing through the power of God like through my ultimate belief that healing is possible for me and it's possible for everyone if you choose to go after it as shirt says one of my favorite shirts as you guys have seen before love it so like speaking things into existence manifesting things will ultimately can help you attain the, the spiritual prowess so now the next line that like I also wanted to share with you guys from the podcast was it's about peeling back all that you are not to free up what you are and that's how you access God consciousness don't try just be we are each individual manifestations of the one creator whatever allows you to be in stillness and presence that that is getting back to who you are fundamentally so that was like super powerful I know like definitely a lot a lot of like layers that have been like packed already in this conversation layers onions have layers ogres have layers which is why i'm definitely going to be making more videos on this topic in the future because i definitely value spirituality in a lot of different ways and like as my naturopath victor often says if you don't believe in god and like if you don't like have like this belief in something greater than yourself it's actually super hard like maybe even impossible like to fully heal because you probably don't believe like in that healing is meant for you and you probably don't believe in the powers of the universe to guide you on this path of healing. So as I was saying before, when it comes to trying to find your stillness, trying to find your inner peace, a lot of that comes down to like being able to reconnect with your breathing, being able to reconnect with people and to understand how powerful all of us are. And like, yes, we, we all have our differences, but like, at our root and at our core, we're all the same. So like, whatever it is that truly lights you up, I believe that's probably your path like to finding this God consciousness and being able like, to connect everything through that. Moreover, I believe another way to, to find this God consciousness and to like reconnect with our, with our spiritual energy is to strip yourself of all these man-made identities because all these are honestly constructs of all this social conditioning that's been imposed upon us as a way of stripping us from our God consciousness. And so remember that you're not what you do, you are who you are, and, and like nothing could change that. So so like I think we've all been a victim at times of trying to tie our identities into certain labels, like whether it be who we are as an athlete, and who we are with our profession, who we are as a student like but like none of those things like are truly who we are those are honestly just like things that we do and that we try to become good at but like that's not who we are at our root so i think like one of the people in the podcast actually said that like it's about completely non-resistant immovable unseparate anything beyond time the one self-aware consciousness doesn't share the limitations of the body present vast open peaceful awareness is where it's all at so like whatever is keeping you in the state of resistance 
allow the awareness to keep you still because that's always unaffected. So now, are you aware of God in everything? Or at the very least, are you aware of like the spiritual nature in everything? Are you aware that like anything could ultimately become spiritual? And one way to become aware of this God consciousness is through love. Because as I've said in the past, everything in, the, everything in this world is about energy and frequency. And so whatever you're putting out into the world is going to be the same thing that you ultimately receive in return. So like the, the highest vibration is always love. So like. If you're finding love in everything, if you're trying to spread more love, if you're trying to, to live in this high frequency, doing all the things that help to light you up, and as well as like spread more positivity throughout the world, you're going to have a stronger awareness and how well connected you are to everything in the world. Because nothing can penetrate love. And like, it all starts with loving yourself. It doesn't have to be to anyone else. And ultimately, then, and then you're able like, to spread it like, to others, and like you could help other people and feel this positive energy, positive vibration. And that's honestly where it all starts. It all starts within. And like also, I believe we came here to experience things. We are all vessels of God, like in a sense. Like, um, so, so like, when it comes like, to my whole story, I believe that the reason why I've gone through so much in such a short time in my life has led me to so many amazing things, but like it's also allowed me this platform to speak on the power of the power of positivity and the power of healing that exists within all of us. Like and like it shows me that like no matter what, I can always redirect myself and, and redirect my consciousness back to this higher level of love. And like through that, I'm able like to help so many other people. I believe, and like hopefully I'll be able to continue doing this. So. Another very powerful point from the podcast was that just as a wave is not separate from the ocean and also just as sunlight is not separate from the sun, we are not separate from anything in the universe. And another note I wanted to, to, to talk about is that part of God consciousness is going after all your dreams because you understand that we've all been blessed with this incredible power. This power doesn't, it wasn't just given to some people, it was given to all of us. We all have pieces of God inside of us, I believe. And so, just as I was just saying, like, so like the, the ocean is not separate from the wave. We are not separate from this power that like we've all been given. And so, therefore, it's up to every one of us to, to go after being our best selves, because in being our best selves, we're showing the universe what's possible and we're, and we're inspiring others to do the same which is ultimately making the world a better, more peaceful, more positive place and like, because we're all connected with nature nature will be healthier, we will all be healthier and like, when all these dreams have been implanted in us it's for a reason, so like don't never let anyone take that away from you and like, also, like, coming back to what I was saying before like, like the whole spiritual war I believe a lot of us like have been like tricked into believing in, in like these false gods and like these false idols. But like truthfully, no one has anything in them but like we don't have inside of us. So like don't let anyone trick you into bowing down to anyone or into forgetting how powerful you are. I've never liked it whenever someone said like, well, I don't have the genetics to do that or doing that isn't meant for someone like me. Because doing that is ultimately denying the power that God gave you. And like, it's not realizing how powerful you are. So like, we have to stop blindly trusting others with their own power. Because ultimately, all the knowing lies within us. Everything, as, as I said before, is all about peeling back the layers to find out who we truly are and to find out what our ultimate purpose is in this world and to keep spreading that and making the world a better place. So, I know this, this this conversation definitely got deep, but like, hopefully the, the more we continue like, to delve into these deeper topics, hopefully you, you guys start seeing how powerful you are, and like, to not feel like it's of, like, of separation between us and anything. Like, so like, one last story I want to talk about is that like, Alec was actually saying the other day on another podcast, how like, he, he took this meditation class recently, which actually taught him how to bend a spoon with just the power of his mind. And like, without going too far into this, what he discovered 
was that like everyone in the class had the ability to do this. It was not just given to some, but like it took understanding that like you were not separate from the spoon, so therefore you were actually connected to it, and therefore you could like touch it without actually feeling it. But like doing that like is definitely gonna take a super high level of consciousness, awareness of who you are in the universe. But like we'll get into that another time. Anyways, love you guys. Keep spreading love, keep spreading positivity. Remember that you have the power within you to do anything. I love you guys. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.